Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes serves as a direct follow-up to the impactful War for the Planet of the Apes, aiming to conclude the vision originally conceived by director Matt Reeves for the reboot series. The journey of this cinematic revival began in 2011 with Rupert Wyatt's Rise of the Planet of the Apes, a film that defied expectation especially considering the lukewarm reception of Tim Burton's prior attempt to revive the franchise. Rise faced the formidable task of engaging audiences with a CGI-driven animal protagonist, and remarkably, it succeeded, setting the stage for two more thrilling and thought-provoking films helmed by Matt Reeves, who has since taken on the iconic The Batman. Fast forward to 2024, and Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes is in the final stages of post-production scheduled for release in May. Despite the six-year hiatus since the last installment and the apparent resolution of Caesar's story in War for the Planet of the Apes, this movie is not another reboot. Instead, it serves as a direct sequel to the 2017 release, exploring a future where humanity has been decimated by the simian flu. Crucially, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes is designed to fulfill Matt Reeves' overarching vision for the series. Reeves had a clear direction in mind when he took the helm of the franchise, and while it seemed that this vision was fully realized with War for the Planet of the Apes, he had distinct plans for the next installment. During the promotion of the 2017 film, Reeves hinted at the future, mentioning the existence of apes who grew up without Caesar's guidance. These apes formed their own colonies, interpreting Caesar's teachings in various ways and even using them to subjugate other apes. This concept forms the core of the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes storyline where multiple ape societies coexist, each with its interpretation of Caesar's legacy. It explores the tensions and conflicts arising from these differing ideology, creating a dynamic narrative within a world where humans are no longer a primary threat to apes. While Matt Reeves may have envisioned various avenues for the franchise's future, the 2024 film remains loyal to his original concept, even though it does not feature Andy Serkis as Caesar. The movie continues to build upon the ambitious world Reeves crafted, offering epic action sequence and deepening the layers of Caesar's legacy. Despite certain deviations from Reeves' initial ideas, such as the absence of Bad Ape, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes remains firmly rooted in the continuation of Caesar's narrative. Caesar's legacy is monumental, and his impact on the apes and the world at large is immeasurable. The rivalries and conflicts among ape factions in the upcoming film are a direct consequence of Caesar's achievements, demonstrating the clever storytelling approach of continuing the series without its central character. Although Andy Serkis is not part of the fourth installment, his praise for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes suggests that it will deliver a mind-blowing and captivating experience for audiences. Till I get up, time is barely on our side